hey guys welcome back to my channel it's micheline here and i'm back again with another video so nice to see you guys nice to see you here again even though i can't see you but you can see me and you know we see each other so today's video it's going to be kind of like um things that i wished i knew before starting a youtube channel there's so many things that i didn't know when i was entering like the world of youtube and stuff because i've been wanting to do youtube for like a long time i always tell myself that i need to get myself a digital camera or buy a proper phone so hence i was thinking that i always like postponed 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 so i'm going to tap in to what set me back to only start it later on and what i've learned so far guys i didn't know anything about youtube until i really got to like start filming videos and really really keeping up with like the growth and whatnot you know um i just wrote a couple of things down so that i can keep you know i can keep in mind what um there were so many things i wrote so many things so point number one right when you're starting the youtube channel you need to know this before even getting monetized you have a period of a year they give you a year and within that year you need to accumulate 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours so you are given a year and within that year if you have been you know accumulating that amount then you can go on and you know apply for monetizations and whatnot you will receive an email and whatnot i haven't been monetized yet so this experience i haven't actually completely went through with it but this is what i came to learn only after i started filming my videos because i was like okay i've started a youtube channel but how do i make it official because i always knew just filming videos doesn't mean that um i'm official so i started like really really getting to know more about it and only then i found out no i have a period of a year and then you know since i started my channel last year and i've already had 12 months because the period is 12 months right so i've already had 12 months and within that 12 months i didn't accumulate that amount i've got 12 more months to do the same thing basically so in these 12 months if i accumulate you know uh, 4k watch hours and 1k subscribers then i'm going to be monetized so that's like the one thing that i really really like wanted to jump on like straight up secondly we have if you get someone to subscribe to your channel right they subscribe to your channel but never watch any of your videos they just subscribe like when you kind of like ask a friend can you like subscribe to my channel i'm starting a youtube channel can you subscribe they subscribe but they never watch your videos they are going to be removed at sub as subscribers they're going to be counted out you will just see your subscriber counts just dropping because the algorithm reads them out as spams and you know they know the strand of subscribers that are not actually there to watch your videos so what's the point of them subscribing so if your subscribers don't watch your videos at all literally not even one video your your subscribe count is just going to drop because that one subscriber is going to be taken out and youtube is just not going to you know be cool with that you know what i mean so joining uh sub for sub groups it's just a no-no it's it's a killer you don't have to do that youtube monitors every single one of your progresses right the algorithm reads every single one of your progress so if you are not progressing in like a week or a month or whatnot right and you are not as active or whatever youtube is not going to recommend your videos to people because you are not basically accumulating anything for them so if let's say you have videos out right but you basically stop posting for like two months me <laughs> you stop posting for like two months or more or whatever youtube is not going to recommend your videos and even if you are still constantly posting but your videos are still not doing good like the, um, the numbers are just not progressing youtube is going to stop uh putting out your video pushing your videos because it wants to push other people who are doing better basically who want the opportunity so youtube is just not going to favor you and say oh okay this person let's just give her a last chance no it's just not going to push out the video people that will watch your videos for less than two minutes those views literally don't count because remember youtube is counting watch hours 
So every single minute that you spend watching a person's video are being counted and mounted up to that 4K watch hours that they need to accumulate. And if you have already passed, you know, the 4K whatnot and you're monetized, that is how you accumulate income with ads and whatnot, right? Those views, they don't count. You may just see that, the, you know, the numbers like, oh, we've got, you know, 100 views or you've got this and this and this views, but in reality, they don't actually count. They're just there for show because somebody pressed on it. But basically, that is just a waste of time because it just goes back to the fact that YouTube algorithm might just think that it's one of those groups like uh, sub for sub groups that are watching your videos just for like one minute so that you can have a view count. You know what I mean? So that doesn't count. Like watching a person's video for like two minutes uh, or le I mean less than two minutes and just going off basically just makes my video go even lower because youtube algorithm is like nope no i don't i don't f with this no even watching your own videos doesn't count when you are watching your own video the algorithm is not stupid it sees that this account is watching its own videos trying to accumulate the views and whatnot it just doesn't count so watching your own videos after you've posted it just so that you can have the numbers up one count you are basically just ruining your chances of your videos being recommended to people or being pushed to like you know um keywords and you know whatever or like um search tabs and whatnot so you are just killing your progress so don't watch your own videos after you've posted you can watch it once like just to verify the editing or like the um the end screen or i don't know the cards that you've placed on the video but if you watch your videos like continuously it's just not gonna work point number six if you are i think i've lost count but anyways if you are you or your viewer is re-watching your videos like constantly like replaying the video like trying to stream the video so that you can raise the view count one account that watches a video multiple times is literally flagged on the algorithm so the algorithm knows that this account is trying to promote this specific video by rewatching and rewatching and rewatching trying to raise the you know the numbers they don't count like the algorithm is just going to spam your account so that you don't like really don't get pushed out and you might just be like kind of like shadow banned for a while if you are doing that if that's your way of trying to progress with your videos you might as well get shadow banned it's not really a term shadow banned on youtube but i think just so that you can understand you know how it might affect you i'm gonna use the terms and this is more of a social thing but this is just me right because uh, i feel like this is just me right most upcoming youtubers as well like you might not want to collab with you so let's say i have 50 subscribers and i'm just upcoming and i have a few videos on my account and i feel like i want to kind of like get other youtubers to be on my channel so that you know i can promote or go on their channel so that i can like you know promote my own channel in the process some youtubers might just say no point blank and some youtubers might actually ask you to pay them to be on your channel or for them to invite you to their channel so some collaborations is actually not really necessary because i've done i think a collaboration but that was like something that i didn't have to pay for or something that i didn't have to force whatnot but it doesn't actually have anything to affect your progress you just like it's just something that it's like an accessory you just add it because you want to add you know kind of like a few views it's just not gonna get you like hundreds of thousands of views it might just get you like i don't know, I don't know two new subscribers or three five ten depending on the size of the other person's channel you know but it might not always move you forward getting uh collaborations so it's best to establish your own platform know your viewers know what you want for your channel first before trying to jump on other people's channels and collaborating with them or allowing other people to come to your channel and collaborating with them so this is just like me but some people would say it's a good thing i'm not saying it's a bad thing like point blank is bad no i'm saying like it's not really 
that necessary it's not like a must 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 you know like it's just something that you can do to kind of like also like promote your channel you know what I mean? and this i think this is kind of like a broken record by now um you don't need expensive equipment to start a youtube channel i think i've already said that but you don't need to like buy a ring light buy this and buy that and buy that you know like you don't have to do those things it's just like you can always find a way to make a video without having to worry about the lighting there are some youtube channels even now that have very very poor quality videos but those videos are going viral just because of the content like if your content provides value regardless of the editing or i don't know like the quality of the video people might just watch you know you never know what will go viral and what will not so the best thing to do is if you can afford you can do it from the get-go but if you cannot afford you use what you have basically and if you are providing enough value to the viewers they are going to watch regardless and this is like a fact because i am literally filming on my phone so it's like i am still like you know putting our videos on my phone and it's like not really a big deal and there are so many youtubers who are doing the same thing and some youtubers are actually not even using proper phones just like basic regular mobile phones and they're just putting out videos and they are still doing good better than me even so that just goes by you know what your subscribers want and what kind of videos you put out you know okay this is for you when you are done you know with the video you've you've made your video you've recorded your video you've edited and whatnot and you're about to post when you are posting your video always try to add keywords that you know most of the time you've searched for or that describes your video the best so for me right now as i'm filming i am filming a few things that i wished i knew before starting a youtube channel this is the video that i'm putting out so basically that is my keywords basically i have to put that on my title so that it describes my video as what it is or else you put it on the description when you're done with the title if you decide to go for like another direction right which is not always recommended but if you do when you are done and then you just go to your description you put it on the description and it is best because YouTube is going to know what kind of video you're putting out. So when you've placed your video there and people are searching, the algorithm gets that information. It starts looking for the best videos to put out. And it might just put out your video because it has the same keywords. It might just suggest a video because it has the same keywords. But if you don't add any keywords to your videos, the algorithm will not know what your video is about so it would not know who to recommend it to because most of the time your video gets attention from the recommendations so basically let's say you are doing a vlog okay a vlog it's on your on your title obviously and then on your description you have to add vlog as well and not only the vlog now what you're going to be doing in that vlog let's say i'm going to the mall and whatnot whatnot so in your description you don't want to go and spam the description as well by saying vlog 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 mall 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 no you want to make it seem as if you are describing what's happening in the video by just saying okay today i went to the mall and such and such and such and such happened and i decided to like film it or i woke up this morning and i felt like i wanted to make a vlog of me going to the mall sorry my video cut in the middle of me explaining so i'm just gonna continue right on from there so basically things like that to make the video feel more natural to make the description feel more natural than actually spamming the damn description like i said the algorithm will know so that's like kind of like you know small things that i didn't know like even when i'm putting out a video and then you have to put a description always have a description and your description should have 500 words max because you don't want to put out a description where it's just like a few words and the video in itself is like so confusing the algorithm doesn't know what the video is about doesn't understand it so it just leaves it there because how can it put it out it might put it in the wrong genre it might put it in the wrong recommendation it might do this it might do that so you know you have to like explain your video very well and have so much information in there but not really revealing the video in itself because they have to watch the video for them to know what it's about. You're just giving them like hints 
of what's going to happen in the video and whatnot that is mostly it and then the last one that i wanted to say and this is just like my personal opinion not everyone is going to support you as a youtuber like some of the people that you know might just feel like youtube ah uh, that's just a lazy you know it's for lazy people or youtube you'll never make it or youtube ah uh, everybody's doing youtube it's so saturated everybody has an opinion and they can go right on and fuck off with their opinion because not everyone is just going to support you and not everyone is going to have a good feedback when it comes to your channel some people might find the videos boring some people might just find it amusing some people might find it enjoyable some people might find it binge worthy so you never know what kind of review you're going to get but mostly people might just not support your videos or just your channel because they are hating and they are haters like that and if you found this video very helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell on all so you can be notified every single time i post a new video see you on the next one bye